Okay, welcome back to part two. This time I'm going to do the weighted average. We're still going to use the same type of information. Actually, it's exactly the same information in case you didn't get it. I guess you could pause it at this point and copy it down if you don't have it, which I didn't think about the first time. But we're going to use the same information, only this time for the weighted average. Now, this one probably won't take as long because it's done basically the same way. Like I said the 4600 will be given to you. 36.8 will be given or something close to that and then you just simply add those two up to get the um, oh that's not 36 it's 36,000 sorry got the wrong one 36,000 and on this side you'd be given the 3,800 or you could be given the 36,800 but you, one of those might will probably be missing and, or one of these over here could be missing and you're given those two but anyhow, remember, these two have to equal each other. Okay. You notice the equivalent unit section on this one's a little shorter because we don't worry about what we started. This is an average. So the units transferred out will simply be the 36.8. And that is all the way across. Whoops, I can't do it that way because <laughs> I did a cell reference, didn't I? I didn't aim to do that on this. Okay, 36.8. Now, the ending units in process, that's what we're interested in on this one. So we just take the 3,800, which is my ending units in process. In this case, it's times 100%, which is the 38,800. On this one, we'll take the 3,800 times 60%, which is 2,280. And for the last one, we take the 3,800 times the 70 percent which is 2660. Now you notice those should have equaled the same numbers that you had on the FIFO method for the uh, weighted uh, yeah for the ending inventories. So we get 39080 and 39460. So this is a little different. Okay now since this is a weighted average you have to take the individual amounts which is my beginning working process for material is 32,815 and we add what we added this term which is 385,600 which we add those together um, gives me 40 418,415 okay this one is going to be the 75,000 plus the 692,375 which we add those two together for the total labor of 767,375. And for the overhead, we, we had a beginning of 55,000 and 567,748. Remember, these numbers will all be given. And then we add those two together to get the totals. And then for the grand total, we add all, no, not that many, all three of those together to get 1,080,538. Okay. Now the equivalent units again for material would be the weight what we calculated up there. For the labor is the 39,080. And for the factory overhead is 39. Now the reason why these are different is because factory overhead can be based off of machine hours. So that's why they're different. Um, Take 418, divided by that, and on these I always carry the three decimal places, but there again, do what the book says you, what they want you to do. Some places will be three, some places maybe four. Okay, and if you copy down, you got to get rid of the excess stuff. Okay, and then we just simply, all right, so we have 45, 724. I like it when I get the same answer twice. Completed and transferred out. So we have this section here. So remember, this one we just have the units transferred out and ending equivalent units, and then add the two together. And then you take your totals for the for the month the beginning plus what you added this month divided by your equivalent units to get the cost per unit. Okay. Now we have completed and transferred out. Well, that can come over here. How many units did we complete and transfer out? We don't have this all the calculation we had before. You have units transferred out was 36.8. 
times my total, which gives me that 1 million. Yeah. And um, comma zero. Remember, this is going to be to zero. So it's 1,682,643. So in this one, that's what you transferred to the next department. Direct materials. Again, we take the 3,800 times the 10,306. And I again should put in the round function. Um, zero decimals. Okay. So it gives me that one. This one, I'll remember this time because I just did it last time. Equal round the 2280 times 19636, comma zero, and 44,770. And for the factory overhead, we do the same type of thing. Uh, we'll take the 2660 times the 15, comma zero. But 41,980, we do an auto sum, or add them up anyway, those three numbers, and we add these up, and it gives us the 56. And remember, again, this number still has to equal that number. So this one is simply that number minus this one to get $18 off. Okay. Said the weighted average I didn't spend as much time with because it's done the same way that we did the other one. Okay, these this set of numbers up here will be given to you in some manner. Like I said, they may give you three of the four, and you have to find the fourth one because remember this total and this total have to equal. If you units to account for, you have to say where did they go? The units transferred will be the 36,800 in this case, the transferred out units. This is what you have to calculate, that set right there, which is your equivalent units for ending units in process only. And that's based on your percentage of com that you haven't completed at this current month. Unlike FIFO, which was you had the beginning units, you had to see what did I need to finish them up. On this one is what did I do? So that's the difference there. And the other difference is you have to add these two numbers together to get your total here divided by your equivalent units to get your cost per equivalent unit. Then you add those up. And now this is completed and transferred. And you know, it's with the 36.8. You could also grab this number up here if you wanted to, doesn't matter, times the total cost to account for. And I used the round function on these to get nice neat numbers. And then this is your direct materials. And that will come from this line right here, ending units in process. The 3,800 times the 10,306, the 2,280 times 19,636, and the 2,660 times your 15,782. And that'll give you this set of, this group of numbers here. You add them up. That should equal your total. And I always like, I hate rounding, have not equaling, because these two should equal each other. It's off $18. And so you just simply do it that way. And that is the process cost system. That's all there is to that one. Like I said, it's a little bit easier to do than the other one, I think. Most people think it is anyway. So uh, next one will be, we'll do department twos, and they won't take as long either.